Hi guys, it's Dorothy here at the Stash Depot and I'm here. I wanted to do a video to sort of share a book that I came across when I was hunting through my collection. I'm going to really start a nature journal. Um, I'll actually be doing that completely in video online. Um, so I'll share more of that in the upcoming days. But I was searching through and I came across the book that I had found at, I believe, the thrift store quite some time ago. Um, but I thought, you know, I know everybody loves Edith Holden and then don't get me wrong, Edith Holden here, Holden fan here, all the way. But I came across this, and it's a really good book. If you can't get Edith Holden, this book is a very good alternative. So I wanted to share with it, it with you today. It's Janet Marsh's Nature Diary. Um, it's from Morrow Publishing. <coughs> Excuse me. There are some excellent pictures in this book. So I will sort of share that with you. <coughs> Sorry. Um, Janet Marsh's Nature Diary. So there's lots of small pictures as well as larger pictures. So there's a nice variety. Janet Marsh's Nature Diary text and illustrations by Janet Marsh. William Morrow and Company Incorporated, New York, 1979. It was first produced in the United Kingdom in 1979. And hopefully you'll be able to see. I'll hold, try to hold some up. So there's a lot of small pictures. Like you can see the detail in some of these pictures is phenomenal. Just the amount that is in these sketches that she did are amazing. I'm trying to do this to the camera, so hopefully you'll be able to see that. And there's small ones and there's birds and there's squirrels and there's plants and there's some houses there's rivers there's just a multitude of things spiders bugs butterflies just you name it and crawdads and then just plants There's a lot of script text, um, different places like that. Like there's patches of vegetation. There's full full page spreads, and every one of them are just gorgeous beyond all reason. Some of them are chromatic. Some of them are colored. Some are black and white. Look at that cat tail. I mean, that this is just phenomenal the amount of detail that is in that and it's a really big book um, the pages measure uh, let me see here roughly nine and a half close to ten by eight so it's eight by ten probably I see a lot of script and things you can just use to decorate mushrooms, toadstools, and the detail again is just amazing. The squirrel. This is probably one of my favorite pictures out of the whole book. I just Love the amount of detail in that dandelion. So wheels. I mean, just there's just a variety of things in here. Bird's nest with eggs. It's absolutely gorgeous. Plants. There's itty bitty ladybugs. So there's just a multitude of things in here that there's bees. It's just a ton of stuff. And there are flowers. There's a bird. And they're in different you know, different places. There's another 
You'll find them just in oddball places. The butterflies, and a lot of these are black and white, so you actually could, you know, copy these and color them in to use for your personal use if you had it. Marigolds. Ducks. Some birds. There are pages where it's nothing but, but I really like the fact that, like, it's daily. You know, it really is a diary daily that goes through, too, which is, it's interesting to read without, it's one of those where, you know, I tore it apart to use in my nature journal I'm going to do, but I'm getting a second copy just to keep because I want to be able to, you know, have that in my library. It's just too beautiful not to have. Love it. The dog rose. Just absolutely. Isn't it a cute little flower? And then there's some of the bugs that are just almost too real. And some of the coloring is gorgeous. I mean, look at that page. It's just splattered with color. There is a little bit of everything nature-wise in here, that's for sure. So, I thought I would share with you guys. I thought, you know, you might enjoy, you know, saying, and I wanted to show you pages because obviously nobody wants to buy a book based on its cover. Although, with journals, we find a lot with covers. We'd like to just grab and go and take the cover. It doesn't even matter what's inside, no way. It's just some of the colors are so bright and vivid. She was an extremely talented artist. Gorgeous. So look at that page. It's just... Let me see if I can... Just hold that page up close. And then it gives you, gives you all of the names down the side, which is sort of cool just to have that list. I believe, I'll check in a minute, but I'm almost pretty certain there's 160 pages. So it's quite a few pages. And these are just teeny tiny, I mean, teeny, teeny, tiny bugs. Teeny, tiny. Some more flowering. I'm a toad. This dragonfly reminds me of Ashley. And there's trees and berries. black and white ducks. I mean, even the leaf, the coloring of the leaves are just perfect. But I wanted to share with you guys so you could see. I mean, look at that. I mean, doesn't it make you want to just run out and buy the book? Or buy two? Or three? And Holly... It'd be perfect for a Christmas journal. Yes, 160 pages. So, I just wanted to share with you guys and sort of give you a run through and let you see it because I know, you know, you hear Edith Holden all the time, and but I had never heard Janet Marsh, and you know, it's pretty thick. It all tore out very easily. It's all in the sewn signatures. So, I mean, I was able to just cut the threads and pull them and you didn't even rip the end of pages so you know you could use these pages for anything because they're I mean together pretty well so I just wanted to share that with you and like I said I will be doing a nature journal it will be a channel thing so I will be introducing it over the next couple days you know so stay tuned for that uh, and we will see you in our next video happy crafting and have a great day